Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, video number two, where hopefully we're going to not have a number three, and we'll get this beholder finished today. Um, there's a slight possibility that this video could get corrupted, and I have to start all over from scratch, which would be terrible. So let's let's see where this goes. <laughs> please make it but we're gonna start working on our bone colors and see where we get here um, all right what colors do we want to use uh, you know we haven't used any bones paint in a while uh, oh we could try this pale of bone uh, ooh, that'd be good for something different. I just found a bottle of blue tone I didn't know I had. Maybe some hardened leather. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where this goes, you know. Um, I've said it a million times. We're just here to have fun, and what happens, happens, and we go from there. Let's see, what do I want to start with? We'll start with this pallid bone. Because I don't believe it's very dark. And we can bring it back with the, um, what color is this? Skeleton bone. We can bring this color back. And this color will bleed through that color. So it'll actually darken it up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. few drops of that. And I know this color's dark. It's always dark. Mix it up. That's still a little darker than I would like it. Well, I also have to take into account what it's going to look like on y'all's end. It doesn't matter if it looks good on my end. If y'all can't see it, it doesn't exist. Okay. And, you know, at the end of the day, you, you paint your beholder the way you want it to look. I'm, um, I'm painting it this way just because I can. It's a little bit more of a challenge. So we're going to start by hitting our little bone pieces. And from what I can see, I've gone too light because it's not transferring to video. I do very much like that color, but y'all can't see it. So let's go a few shades darker. Mix it up again. Okay. We're just going to glaze over the top of all these little spikes. Don't overload your brush. Pull from the bottom of the spikes out to the tip because it'll be darker at the base than it will be at the top. back and do the bottoms after this. Like I said, you, you really do want to thin this down. This brown that y'all can see is actually too dark for me. But it's still going to look good. And it's, it's going to look good because we did it, you know? And we like it that way. 
as I said in the last video, this vi this miniature will be given away uh, for free to someone that comments in the videos and has joined the Discord so that I can reach you. <coughs> but you must be subscribed um, this will not cost you anything you will simply just get it in the mail or you can pick it up in person whichever you prefer it doesn't matter to me okay we're just going around hitting the bottom of our spikes This color is a little dark for my taste, but like I said, that bone color is going to bring it back down. So it'll be all right. All right. Keep this rocking and rolling. I hope you've all had a great day. Uh, my day's been kind of weird. Um, just very slow. I find it very hard to get motivated, uh, especially when it comes to recording because I'm still having a bunch of technical issues on my end. So making videos is pretty difficult right now. For anyone that didn't catch the last video, one of our next videos is going to be recasting miniature bits. Um, I haven't quite made up my mind what specific bits I'm going to recast, but because the person who has asked for this video has pretty much specifically asked for me to try and do one based off of things that could be bought at a dollar store and that's fine we do have the materials now um, technically even even the resin could be purchased from the dollar general but I don't know that's up to y'all if y'all want to take it that far I mean cheap is cheap but uh, I'd rather just use regular old Lumalite resin it's a little expensive to buy in small amounts but it goes a pretty good ways and there are shortcuts for that you can take resin when you're recasting something and you can mix it with filler things that I've found that have made good filler in the past play sand just good old clean sand um, it's not degradable it doesn't affect the chemical mixture of the product so it actually works really well and it will stretch out your resin now obviously that won't work with clear resin but if you're recasting something with the intention of painting it, doesn't matter if it's clear. There we go. What color was this? I'm telling you right now, this looks nothing like the color on the bottle. It's about 50 shades darker than that. <laughs> and that's with water added to it. The green from this set is so strong. You can literally just about go half and half with water and it still be as green as the bottle shows it is.
such a really good saturated color. There we go. A little more down here. A little bit right there. It's almost like a beauty mark scale. <laughs> Just a little random scale sticking out. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments. What kind of things would you like to see painted? Um, I am going to do some Warhammer related stuff, but I would like to try and avoid it. Just because Games Workshop is very strict on people that paint their products on YouTube. And in all honesty... My channel's small enough to where it'd disappear and nobody'd ever know it. I'd, I'd rather that not happen right now. Um, we've got a pretty good start. We're growing slow, but our watch hours and such are doing pretty well. The algorithm looks great. Uh, for anyone that's wanting to get into YouTube, I can definitely tell you it's a lot harder than you think it is. And it's a bit of a, a job in itself, if I'm being honest. Okay. Let's uh let's move on over to our bone color. <coughs> wow. That came out like toothpaste. That is thick paint. Let's go ahead and add a little water to it. Just a drop will do. And that is slightly paler than what I want. But we might go over it with a little bit of this that's been thinned down very heavily. We're also going to do a dry brush with this color when we're all done. There's going to be some stuff going on with this color. All right. Load our brush. Do 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 do. Let's paint these scales that we didn't paint the other day. It is a very white looking color. around the bottom of the mouth
just keep working our way around. All right. Now, while we still have a little bit of this on the brush, you see these little markings on the side here. We just want to lightly draw lines across the top of some of those markings. We'll do it on both sides. We're going to make a nice little pink color to go over that and blend in. You can get a little bit of this on the teeth. And try not to coat the entire tooth. You just want to do a little bit. Because we're going to glaze over these teeth and give them, give them a little bit of a dingy shade. Okay. So, that's that. Now we're going to do the bottom of the miniature. Uh, where we stopped with our blue is where we're going to start with this color. And then we're going to do something that's going to tie all these colors together. Right now we're basically block painting, which is... Mm, I call it base coating. Warhammer people that play table-ready models call this finished product. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to go a little further than just calling it table ready. Now, when you're painting this bottom portion, you really do want to try and paint the entirety of the scale where it fades from your light bone tan color to your blues. I still got a little bit of that liquid latex on that clear part. That's fine though. It'll peel off later. Okay, a little more right here under the chin. Over, around, and down. You know, like I've said time and time again, you flip this thing any direction, you got to flip it to get the result that you want. Now on the camera, this is looking white. I promise you, it's not white. It's it's a very light khaki color. Um, and like I said before, for the purposes of video, I will be making this color brighter or darker so that it's transferable for video. And if I do not get this little bit of liquid latex off here, it is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> it's so stretchy. This stuff's fun to play with. There we go. All right. So we got our brown on. The bottom comes around the side. Oh. Let's go up a little bit on this. Too much water in the brush. Let's suck some of that up. There we go. Let's just paint a couple little random scales here to give us some transition. There we go. Uh, let's get us some red. We're just going to want a tiny drop of red. There we go.
take the end of our brush roll up some of this paint on the tip put it in our red okay that's getting close to what we want it's a very fleshy pink all right now this might take two coats but we're just going to come across here These little spots on the side here. Yeah, this is going to take two cuts. Get this eyelid. It's actually looking good on the eyelid because it's just really sinking into those recesses. It gives it an illusion of more color than it actually is. This side's not looking that bad. Actually, it's 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 drying up better than it looked wet. I think that's pretty fair to say. Looking good. I want to throw a little pink. There's an odd lateral line that follows across here. We're just going to put a little pink on top of that blue. Uh, don't have to go heavy with it. It's just to give it some odd interest when someone looks at it. It's almost like a, a scar almost. But it is a thing of interest that allows us to break up the monotony in the blue. Because this is a lot of blue. Okay. Alright. That looks a lot better. Let's get some light. It looks a lot better in person than it does on camera. But it's beautiful. We like that. Okay, we've got our pinks in. Where should we go next? Um, we need to finish our browns, our bone color. Duh. Clean out our brush. Eh. We'll just add more water to it. All right, come on. Mix, mix, mix. How's that look? It still looks really dark. Let's, uh, let's do a little test spot where only me and you will know about it. That's really close. Okay. Mix her up. Alright, that, that looks about right. Let's get a quarter inch brush. We can go back to the eighth inch in a minute. 
just let it soak up here. All right. We're just going to drag this across the bottom, treat it like a wash. Essentially, that's all we've done is we've created a wash. Okay. Now we're going to drag this across the, the little band of scales that we did earlier. It's going to give it a little bit darker color. Right. Now the ones above the eye. Okay. That is looking pretty darn good. should our beholder have? Mm. What's a good contrasting color to blue and red? My brain keeps screaming green, but I think the green will get lost in all the blue. So let's go with the yellow. brown there. We'll just wipe that out. There we go. Just a little dot of yellow. Oh. Nice. Got it all over my fingers. We're working on the yellow so that that tan glaze we just put on can dry and then we're going to do a dry brush. Go back to our eighth inch brush. We're just going to go around all these little eyes and we're just going to put a dot on them. Okay, I, I guess we could do this eye in the middle yellow. I still really want to play with some green though. <laughs> I just keep wanting to do green. We'll obviously put some black in there later. We might do some little... Uh, blistered red effects around the eyes. How are we looking here? We're looking pretty good. We'll also go around and put pupils in all the yellow eyes as well. We'll get there. Uh, let's move on to dry brush. Uh, oh man. <laughs> it's that touching grass syndrome again. My little dry brushes out in the truck. I'm going to have to use the big one we made on the channel the other day. Uh, this dry brush palette does work well. The only issue I have with it is it's big. And the only reason it's big is because I wanted to get everything from the Dollar Tree. And I came across this little pan and said, oh, that's cute. So for the purpose of video, it, it served its purpose few uh, littered, we'll say, uh, genetic, generic marines from space. Yeah, there we go. That's what those are.
Okay. So we're just going to do our little circles. And we are going to cut everything. All your browns, all your blues, everything is going to get this bone color draped over it. And that's going to give those scales some dimension. down here at the bottom where our blue and all that comes together you just want to transition that line right there now those of you that have been following this particular paint job know that it is like five shades darker on top and it just gets lighter and lighter and lighter as it goes to the bottom um, now it almost looks uniformed because the color is so blotchy and everything this bone really offsets the scale color all right let's take another quick look here kind of want to hit it a little more let's just go ahead and do that why not Ooh, I put a lot more paint on there than I thought I did. Alright. Get our teeth. Mm -hmm. The little plates on top of the head go now let's go around and hit our tentacles because tentacle lives matter well this is um, on my end it's really starting to come to life it's looking like it could be a thing we like things. This is going to look really nice sitting in somebody's pile of monsters at their uh, next big D&D &D game. Let's see here. circles circle circle dot dot now I got my cootie shot and you do kind of want to do this fast because here's the kicker you want to do it fast so that it's not perfect um, when it's perfect believe it or not it can actually make it look worse so Let's just uh, do a quick bump drag across the top of these gums. Because this is speed paint, and speed paint does bleed through thin down lightened colors. Um, let's move this out of the way. Alright. Bring back our 8 inch brush. Yeet. Oh, we're low on paint. Let's deal with that. 
This time we can leave the paint a little thicker. We'll just wet the tip of the brush slightly and then pat that paint around. Now we've done that. We're going to go around and we're just going to line edge some of these sharp points. Any, anywhere there's a real hard corner, we want to just hit that. And like I said, if you get something somewhere you don't want it, it's, it's okay. It, it's, it's all going to work out in the end. It's going to look great. Don't, don't go whipping out the LA Awesome and soaking your beholder because you think you did a step wrong. You're okay. This is a organic project and organics are not perfect and the imperfections is what truly makes them look more perfect. There we go. Bones coming together. A little high point there. There we go. Don't forget these two guys down here like I have. We're going to need a little more paint. points on the other side Up, down and around all right guys we're getting there we're getting there Bear with me. Well, I'm really shaky today. Go around, accent some of your high points. Okay. Hit the center of some of these larger panels. Just, just a little dot, nothing crazy. Just go around. Yeah, I actually could kind of just drag across it like it's a dry brush. That would work just fine, yep. Okay, almost there. This is looking great. Uh, let's see here. We are getting there. We're really close. All right. Uh, while my brain's thinking about it, let's get some black. There we go. see all right let's just go around and put like the world's littlest 
dot on each one of these eyeballs. Now another thing you can do, um, I have done it in the past, but you can get yourself a decent ink pen, one that draws a good solid thick line, and you could use that to do the dots, but it needs to dry for several days if you do that because the paints, it's, it's going to want to smear. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give him some little red swigglies, like his eye is bloodshot. Yeah, maybe maybe he's a little angry. He's hangry. He looks hungry. I just ate. I can eat again. Okay, let's put these shaky hands to good use. Uh, we're gonna start back here. And we're just going to start thick and then pull our brush away as we get closer to the center to make our lines a little thinner. And do it along the other side. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Now, this model comes with a lens for the eyes. And I'm pretty sure that I have intentionally thrown that lens away. The reason for that is, is because, well, you can see what this looks like down here. It's all dingy and brown. The lens is the exact same plastic in it. I found any time anybody's ever used it, that lens looks terrible. But yeah, uh, I think we're safe to call this finished. We could push it a little further and bring back some of our blues, um, a little blue tone, why not? Never hurt to see how far you can get away with going. Also, if you're one of those people that still uses wash on a regular basis, it's one of those things I have to make myself use. Uh, just because I have it on back stock here. Uh, I totally suggest switching over to Army ta Painter Tones. Just for the simple fact that... Come on. You're getting the same amount of product for half the cost. And it is a good product. Don't go fooling yourself. Alright. So we just want to start at the top. Because as we remember, our top is our darkest place. And we're going to carry that across the back. We're just going to bring back that center stripe. Maybe a little bit right here. This looks like a very cool thing. I uh, think we're going to call it there, guys. Uh, one thing you really can do that will take this the extra mile is you can take some type of clear coat and clear coat the eyes to give it a gloss these up here too and you can put a little bit more gloss in here but we mixed this with hard cut and it got a really nice effect so that's going to be it for this one uh, this guy is done he will be free to a good home soon so make sure you comment join the discord and this miniature will be given away to one of you guys for free so have a nice day. 
have a wonderful week and keep your brush wet take care guys